This is Steve Curtis, Customer Experience Lead for Columbus Global, and with me today is Stephen Fox and Craig Hamer. Uh, in this webinar, we're going to be focusing in on uh, taking a lead, uh, creating that lead, and taking it through to a qualified opportunity. Um, now, the reality is, if we look at Dynamics 365 for sales, it gives you relationship management, it gives you insights, it gives you sales productivity and sales performance for both the manager, the seller, and the customer. Now, the you know when it comes down to it, the ability to manage a lead and take it through and, and qualify it properly is something that's quite mature in Salesforce automation. But what we want to do is make sure that you understand that that's uh, you know a very capable area of Dynamics 365 for sales. So I'm going to go straight into the demonstration today. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at the lead to our qualified opportunity process. We're going to do that both in the browser and in a mobile application. And, and the reason for that is, you know, you, you may have a situation where your salesman is either at the desk making a telephone call or they are the mobile and they're on the road and they're talking to the client at the time when a new lead comes in. So either way, we want to be able to manage the lead process and, and potentially qualify that to a, an opportunity at that time. So um, I'm going to take you through that now in the context of the, uh, the demonstration. OK, so we're now in Dynamics 365. This is my sales hub in Dynamics 365. And as you can see, I've got access to both leads and opportunities that are available to me as a salesperson or account manager. So if we go into the leads area, at any time from any screen, I can go and quick create. So we're going to go and quick create a lead, but I also have an opportunity to, to do a create of a lead. And these are either, if you like, a full screen experience or a side window experience. The, the, the ability to create a lead in a side window might be good if I'm on a telephone call with somebody and you don't want to leave that screen, but you want to be able to create a, a new lead on the fly. Um, now, Dynamics only requires two pieces of information. It requires what's the topic of the lead and what's the last name of the person that we're talking to. So I'll put a new lead in here. This uh, company, uh, Contoso, is interested in buying a, a new AC uh, unit. And then, you know, maybe we can then fill in. We know that the, the contact that we've got and that we're talking to is a guy called Eric Lemieux. Um, and he works for Contoso. OK, so that'll do the basic details. Maybe we'll put some uh, a phone number in here. So some basic details of a phone number that we've got. Uh, and we'll just leave it at that and save and close that new lead. It now allows us to view that record. Uh, so we're opening up that brand new lead. Uh, it's been open for less than a minute. Um, now, what's the next thing that somebody would do? They would typically uh, go into the timeline and start adding new activities. Maybe they'll email out to Eric Lemieux. In this case, maybe we've got a phone number. So maybe what we want to do is put the notes down about what happened in that phone call. But we also have the ability against the lead, you know, to, to, to book meetings, to be able to go in and put notes in uh, informally or via OneNote. Um, so if this has a full interface into Office 365 and uses these capabilities as needed. The other thing that it has is it has an ability to, to use LinkedIn. So we can see LinkedIn lead information and LinkedIn sales navigator. So if we start with the LinkedIn sales navigator, it, it then opens up a member profile and an account profile, and it starts to search on LinkedIn for the relevant company and the relevant person so that I can get some background maybe before I do the telephone call. And here, it, as you can see, it's identified Eric Lemieux. He's a director at Contoso based over in Montreal, Canada. And we've also matched up uh, Contoso themselves. So we'll say, yep, yeah, it is this particular uh, Eric. And it now starts to pull out some details about Eric, uh, suggested potential icebreakers if there are and any related leads that we may be able to do. We can also do an in-mail through this. So if we want to, we can start to think about matching up and doing a, an in-mail uh, in LinkedIn. So this allows me to start thinking about contact details in the context of my lead, 
but also relative to uh, LinkedIn and my ability to deal with that in LinkedIn. Now across the top here, we can see a business process and that business process allows me to take the lead through to an opportunity uh, to qualify that lead, develop it, propose it and close it. Now for this stage and for this webinar, we're only going to we're going only going to take it through the qualification stage and get it to this next stage of, of, of develop. Um, and out of the box, Dynamics is asking for any information about is this an existing contact? Is it an existing account? What's the purchase time frame? These are the types of pieces of information that during a call you might want to use to qualify this lead uh, as we go along. Now, the other thing that, that Dynamics does is it tries to help you as much as it can. So if you notice down here, because we've got a, a telephone number, there's a little button over here that's for the phone call. And if I click on that button, what it will now do is it will open up a, a quick create over here uh, to be able to record the details of that telephone call. And, and it should have actually also, as you can see over here, it's opened up the uh, Skype for Business for me to be able to do the click to call. So if I've got a headset, I could actually talk with Eric, uh, capture the details, and then record the details of that in the uh, the phone call. Um, so I could say this is a qualification call. Just quickly fill this in. Um, I won't put all the details in here. Um, so. So you could put as many details as you can on this. What we'll do is we'll save and close that activity. And now what will happen is that will appear on the timeline in the middle here. So as you can see, we've got an auto post here. But if I go in and, and refresh the timeline, you'll then start to see an outbound phone call activity. And we can click on that, expand it and see the detail of that. During the phone call, it allows us to be able to qualify some more details. And, and you can fill these in as necessary. You don't need to fill all of these in, uh, but you start to get the uh, all of the detail that you might need uh, for this particular account. And then at the right time, you can go in and qualify this particular uh, lead through to an opportunity. So we could say, is it an existing contact? Now, if it is, you can search for it. And if it isn't, it will create that contact for you. Same with account. If it's an existing account, you can do a search across the, the system for that, uh, or you can allow it to create that. You know, maybe during this situation, we've, we've qualified that this is, uh, it's gonna be happening this quarter. He's got a budgetary amount of uh, 50,000 uh, to be able to, uh, to buy this. Let me just change that. Hold on, tab through properly. And the purchase process, this is going to be uh, by committee. And we've identified who the decision maker is on this. Now, you can change the critical pieces of information that you capture. And this is part of the configurability. And against each of these stages, you can take this and you can pin it over on this side. So you can work through it at your leisure and you can expand this out and capture that information as, as needed. So once you've once you've done that and you're ready to go through to qualify stage, it's a pretty simple process to qualify this to an opportunity. So this turns the lead into an opportunity. And the way that you do that is via the little button over on the top here. So if we qualify this lead, it immediately then takes the lead and turns it into a sales opportunity for us. So here we go. It's trying to see if there's a match at the account and the contact, but it says, you know, if there's a, to create a new record, click continue. So we'll create a new record for the Contoso account and for the Contoso contact, uh, Eric Lemieux. And now it processes, it will create the account, it will create the contact, and it will create the opportunity for us. And it's as simple as that. Uh, so taking a lead through, it's now gone to the next stage where we have to develop that qualified opportunity. And also what will happen is as a result of that is on our dashboards and on our funnel, it will take it and start to drop it into the relevant pipeline stage of qualify, develop or propose. So management reporting, 
off the back of those opportunities is very, very good indeed, out of the box. Uh, and then we can see we've got the lead in here as a now as a qualified open opportunity for me to be able to work. And I can go in at any time, click on that and work on it within my browser interface. Now, I said at the start that I'd show you a number of different ways in which we can do this. And the second major way is to go into the mobile application. So there is a Dynamics 365 for mobile. We'll open that out right now. So if I'm in a tablet or in a phone interface, um, this will then get that information and make it available to me in a tablet interface. Um, and we're opening that out right now. There we go. So what we'll do is in that tablet interface, you can see again, I have an ability to create new leads if I want to. Um, so I, I won't go through the same process again, but if I click on that tile, you can see that there's the same interface for me to be able to develop the topic, uh, put the contact in, etc. And the qualification pieces, again, are exactly the same as if I go through this in a, uh, in a normal browser interface. The difference is I'm in a mobile interface here. Um, now, if I decide to do this, just so that you can see it, if I decide to do this and I'm on a phone interface, it then uh, landscapes it vertically rather than horizontally, but I can still tab and type and go through that pretty easily within a, within a mobile uh, browser interface. Uh, last thing to say is uh, opportunities. So if I if I go from being in a browser at a desktop and then I'm, I'm mobile, I can still in a mobile interface in Dynamics 365 open up that qualified opportunity and work on that qualified opportunity in a mobile interface. So you can see, again, all of the details of the auto post um, and then the phone call uh, and anything else. And I'm able to add information in here as necessary. One of the slight differences you get with the notes in here is now because I'm in a mobile interface, I'm able to capture photographs, I'm able to capture video along the way and add attachments, which is quite a powerful addition on the mobile interface as well. Um, that's it. Um, just uh, one last thing to finish off on this that you can see that relative to this, I can add in things like stakeholders, who the sales team is going to be. And this entire form is very configurable. We find that different clients want to have different layouts. They want to craft, capture different critical information. That's all very, very configurable. It doesn't break the way the system is upgraded because uh, this is a service and it allows you to, to build this the way that you want it to be. This is Steve Curtis. Hopefully this webinar has been useful. Um, we'll now move on to the next stage, but if you've got any questions, please post them at the bottom. Thanks now.